Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my NGRX Angular course. In this video, we are learning about the NGRX entity library. And before closing this entity library, what we have seen here, we have successfully see the uh, saw the adding all the create all the CRUD operations we have seen. So, for example, if you see here, so these all post data we are doing using the what we or we can say using the entity entity model so for example if i open this posts.reducer.ts sorry ah, so this all we have did using the adapter methods right now if you observe i want to show you some some important concepts in the entity ngrx entity before closing of this one for example if we open this ngrx.io okay sorry ngrx.io so if you try to see about the ngrx entity if you go to the docs and if you try to open the state and the ngrx entity and in the overview if you try to see this is the ngrx entity right and if you we have seen the entity adapter in this entity adapter we are able to see the adapter methods we are able to see the adapter methods this is all add one add many all those things we are able to see the adapter method we have seen some of the important adapter methods add one set all set one these all you will be able to understand by seeing the adapter methods you will be able to understand which one to use which one not to use now here if you see we will see, we will see, we will see now some of the configuration for example here we have seen that now here uh, for example if i open post dot state dot ts so here is the state right here we have we haven't declared any state right so what what the state total state will be so previously in the ngrx store what we have done whatever the state data we need to have we have we have included but here we are given extends entity state and we are taking the post that means whatever the post we will be having id title description that will be only included in the post state but if you want to write your custom some of the custom uh, data if you want to store some of the custom data in the post state other than the post what we need to do so here what we can do is if you want to store some other state data instead of, uh, along with the post what we need to do is here you need to declare so for example i am want to declare the uh, what i can say is uh, some count okay count count something like number okay so this is not about the post counts just i am giving a some random count okay now what i want to do is so here what i will do is so now if you mention this count number along with the post entity you will be you need to add this count also now here in the initial state so we have included that get initial state in this get initial state so you need to take the give the object and here you need to mention the default value for this one count is the number you can mention it as a zero okay so this is how you can if you want to add some custom data in the entity state other than the post you can give like this so if you are tomorrow if you are having something like loading of type boolean you can give okay not a problem so whatever the data you have you can give so this is how if you want to give the custom data you will be able to use here so this is the thing you are using selected user id so that means selected user in this scenario what they are seeing is so whatever the user they have selected they are saving that one in the selected user id so this is the scenario and now another one what we can do is here we are having the post adapter so we have seen the initial initial state also so this is the customization what we can do okay so post adapter we are having top right sorry so we have added here and now post adapter in this in this adapter you will be having it will take an object and you will be having some properties here if you try to press control space bar and you will be able to see first one is the select id what is this select id select id is nothing but what we can say is we are having the post entity by default what it will uh, try to see is the ent ngrx entity by default will take what will try to is it will take the id as the unique primary key okay so in order to uh, you need to remember one thing in order to ngrx to work so the entity should have one unique primary key okay it should be an id or whatever the name it should be it should have some primary unique id in the entities so now by default what the ngrx will take is it will take the id as the primary key if you have other primary key other than other th other than with the name id so you need to mention the name here so for example if you have uh, what we can say 
some people will be able to have his post underscore id or post id as their primary key so you can keep like this okay sorry here you need to send an object okay post of type post okay and you need to uh, return post dot so if you have user is post id you need to send the post id right now we don't have so we can add id directly okay so you need to you need to use like this this is a select id so what is the id what which which is the key i need to take it as a primary key okay in order to store in the ids id array and another one is the so we don't have we, we are maintaining id as the default so we are not maintaining so defaultly ngrx will take id as the primary key so we have that same id as the primary key we are not maintaining the key other th other than id so we will be maintaining like okay and another one is the sort comparer sort comparer what is the sort comparer is so in v what is the order of the sorting so if, if you are showing the list of posts for example here we are showing the list of posts what is the sorting thing so how how i need how, in which key basis i need to show the sort, sorting so for example here you can it will take the what i can say it will take the function so it will take the function if you want to declare the function here you will be able to see the function sort by name let me copy this one okay and here i can paste it like this sort by name and here it will take the post and here you can add it as a post okay it will take the number a dot title using the title i am sorting okay so like this title we can take it now if i try to refresh this page so you are able to see here why this one is coming this much of big okay because of this one now what i will try to do is let's go to the posts list right posts list posts list dot not html we need to go to the html the html what i will try to do is so here in the title style is equal to word break break all i can copy this one same scenario i can keep it so that it will the words will break okay so if it refreshes it will come yeah so this is the thing now here if you are able to see in the in the ascending order you are, you are able to see in the ascending order so w the title with the w is coming at the down and a with is coming at the top so if you want to make it reverse order what we can do is so you can do what we can do is go to the state and here you will be having something like cost compare is equal to like this you can take and here it should it will be returning the number if compare okay is greater than zero that means if it is a positive number return minus one okay if compare is less than zero if it is less than zero return one okay or otherwise return compare so if any other case return compare this one will be the descending order if we try to see here if I refresh this one see ww came at the top and here as came at the bottom see like, like this it will be returning so local compare what it will do is here the local compare it will do is so if it is greater than like that means it will return you the positive one or otherwise if both are equal means it will return you zero or if it is uh, not uh, matching means uh, lesser means it will return minus one so what i did instead of getting this one greater than zero means instead of getting positive i am returning the negative if it is negative if i am returning the positive so vice versa i am doing okay that means ascending to descending i am doing so this is how we can ma make the sort by name okay so sort compare also like this okay so now so we now we are showing it in the descending order okay this is these are this is these are the configurations in the post adapter and also the post state for example i have added here the count number so how can i update this count number right so in the reducer if you try to see in the reducer directly i am using the post adapter so now if i want to update the count where i can update for example in the add post success i am trying to update so how you can update is so the state is there right so how you will be updating the state immutably so like this you need to do three dots spread operator and here you can take the count so i can take state dot count plus one okay so I can update it like this. So wherever you want to update the data other than the uh, data present in the post entity, so you need to update it like this immutably. So here, if you want to update something load post success, you can maintain it like this. Okay, so like this. So whatever the keys you want to update, you can update it like this. Okay, so this is the scenario you can update. And if you want to get the count, how can you get? So let's go to the selector. Okay, here what I can do is 
export constant get count is equal to create selector of get post state i can use the get post state so state is equal to state dot count i can use directly count okay so like this we can use it so now if i want to use the get count i can go to the post list and here i can use the count it is an observable of number okay it is a number and here what i can do is so this dot show dot get count i can use get count directly and here i can use the this dot count and this dot count if i want to show it i can go to the html and at the top somewhere i will show it in the here in the brackets okay so actually this one is not a count but i am showing you that the data how it is getting updated okay it's an async so now if you try to see here if I try to refresh so first count will be one so why one it's load po load post has been occurred so there is a reason one so if i try to add post and the add post success we have added right so i am adding here if i click here it will it is updated to 2c so post also is got added and the count we have updated so that is the reason it got it incremented to the two so this is how we will be updating the data so okay it's a, so other than the po entity data if you want to update means you will be updating like this okay so this is the whole concept in the ngrx entity so ngrx entity what is the use of this ngrx entity is it will minify the it will minify the reducers data so reducers logic whatever the reducer logic we are writing so we not changing immutability and all those things it will reduce the data it will reduce the logic okay so this is all about the ngrx entity what we have learned so in the post state we have declared the inter interface post state and all those things we have implemented adapter and all those things so sort by name also we have seen so this is the complete data in the ngrx entity in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to learn about the last concept that is nothing but the ngrx data okay so this is also one of the important one ngrx component store i will give you the i will give you an overview so where it will be used it will be used rarely so but i will tell you how what is the use of this one but the ngrx data is another concept which we need to understand why because so instead of writing so now we have decreased the logic of the reducer now instead of writing the reducer action effects everything we, there is no need to write these all the files there is no need to create these all the actions effects reducer selectors these all the state there is no need to implement these all the things all the things will be implemented using the ngrx data so uh, we will try to do the uh, using this ngrx data we will try to do the crud operation okay so simple CRUD operation. So this is not that much of uh, uh, what we can say uh, customizable. So but we can implement a basic CRUD operation. We'll try to implement this one in the next video. We'll say the, we'll see this NGR, about this NGRX data. Okay. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.